Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Tom Girl Show here at After Buzz TV. Woohoo! We're talking Netflix's Girl Boss, and it's gonna get nasty. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Woohoo! All right, Sunday Fun Day, first ever Tom Girl Show. Yes. Love hey guys, it. I'm one of your hosts, JJ Jorgens, and I'm joined here by my partner in crime. What's up, JJ? Hi guys, I'm Haley Clover. Excited to be here. All right, and we have three very special guests for you tonight. Yes, we do. All from Girl Boss. Hope you guys were all binging it this weekend. So first, we have Ellie Reed. Welcome. Hi guys. Hey. And where can Hello. people follow you at on social media? Oh, I'm uh, at ES Reed on both Twitter and Instagram. All right. Hi, Thanks for making it easy. Yes. I'll I both. do my best. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank you. And also, we have Michelle and Melissa Macedo. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Melissa. Michelle. <laughs> um, you can follow us at Macedo Music, at Melissa Macedo M, at Michelle Macedo M. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. On Welcome all back platforms. to After yeah. Buzz. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good to be back. Good to be back. The two girls worked uh, here mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. Long and they ago. still have Beamer, our beloved yeah, dog. The, used to after be the, after Buzz. the studio dog. Yeah. He's such a sweetheart. Yeah. You've seen him. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw you Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's one. so cute. Yeah. He's such a sweetheart. I'm the I know. only one that hasn't met the dog. Oh, he's the best. I'll bring him by. He'll be back for a dog. Like a Lhasa Apso mix with something. Such a little sweet. I should have brought sure him in. I'm sure you can look on the old After Buzz feed. Yes. He's got to be in there oh, somewhere. Oh, he is. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's on my Legend. Instagram a bunch. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Well, let's just dive into the show and your guys' experience. Um, where should we start? Well, we How both binged the show yep. this weekend. I actually have not finished... I know. I'm so Ooh. sorry. She did not <laughs> finish. So since she brought that up, let's talk about what she missed. <clears throat> so, Are we going to go there first? Yes, let's go there first. Uh oh. oh okay, a little BJ yeah. action. One yeah. of us may be yeah. the other woman. Yeah, one of us may be the other woman. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, this yeah. Yeah. seen the entire season. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. If you haven't watched till the end, pause. Watch till the end. You know, <laughs> yeah, come back, back on. Kind of, yeah, um, but yeah, there's, there's a moment. There's a moment with Shane that I have mm -hmm. um and what an asshole now i just found out really? who it was. well you know <laughs> i'm just gonna say musicians yeah. we are musicians <laughs> we're sleazy sleazy people i don't know what else she to can say speak for herself yeah okay i am well, let's Is be easy. honest it was one of us a yeah. lot is of that uh, the first time you've ever taped something sexual like that? Uh, yeah. How was that, that experience? That is, um, that's super uncomfortable and really <laughs> awkward. And Johnny Simmons, who plays Shane, mm -hmm. was great. Um, but there's nothing not awkward about having your head in someone's crotch, <laughs> and uh, that's where that's it was. Was he actually wearing anything? Uh, he was. He was okay. wearing his pants. Okay. Um, it was just more going through the motions. Got it. Everyone was great about making me comfortable, though. Kay and Britt and. Johnny, everyone was. Everyone knows it's super awkward, but and you see it about like this because yeah, okay. she, her head is just there. yeah, <laughs> it's just the back of my head mostly. Yeah, so that's why my first question today was which one was it? Which oh yeah, one oh. You? it was me. It was and her. I guess what you her. do you do see that then later well, when she, she calls you out. out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that's she right. tells me what was what. Yeah. Uh, what was your reaction when you read the script and found out that's what you're going to be doing? Oh uh, well, I read the script and at first I didn't know that was me, and then I got a contract for a sex writer seen the next day I was like oh I'm the one giving the <laughs> blowjob okay the um, old BJ but uh, you know I think that for in terms of our parts which is small but mighty parts yep. um, I think that I was just happy to facilitate in telling the story and I feel like you know we're there to serve the story of it and Kay Cannon wrote an amazing one so mm -hmm. I was excited to be a part of the story in that way yeah, and Ellie can definitely speak a lot to this, like how amazing everyone on set was. Yeah. Like, so nice. Literally, so everyone was awesome. It's so cool. It, it's so nice. It's so different when, like, a woman is show running and so, like, mm -hmm. supported. I'm sure you felt so supported, too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, completely. I think, you know, like, you couldn't ask for someone better at, at the helm, especially if you have to do something uncomfortable. Right. You know, mm -hmm. she's she's going to take care of you. Right. She's not yeah. going to be like, all right, we're, you know, we have to go. We're rolling. Let's do this. Right. You know, she's going to make sure you feel good. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. With the other shows that you've been on before, um, like Two Broke Girls, was that a male yes. showrunner? Um, or yes, I believe there is a male show. Or Whitney Cummings and uh, Michael Patrick King, I believe, okay. are... 
creators, showrunners. I, you guys, my my resume is is sparse. Okay, <laughs> I, I did I did one one little co-star role on Two okay. Broke Girls, and they keep saying like, oh, you know her from Two Broke Girls. I'm like, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about then. How huge is this for you? Oh, it's to, huge. Right? It's the can biggest I... thing ever. It's very exciting. Can yeah. I can I ask about your audition? Oh yeah. Like, did you when you went in? Were you like, yes, I nailed it, or were you like, eh, who knows? I I don't know. You know, I did I did a self tape for Sophia first. Oh, wow. um, oh and, my gosh. And I, you know, you think as an actor, like no one ever watches those, I know. or at least I, know. I don't know. I tell myself that, which yeah. is probably I, not smart. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it's I, working. I mean, it, yeah, really good. <laughs> um, and then they called me back in to read for Annie, and then I came back in and I did a, a chemistry test with Brit, and that was really exciting because Kay and Christian and oh. Laverne McKinnon, producer, were there and. Brit and I like read a couple scenes together and it was more like I just walked out and I was like that was so fun that was so yeah. you know mm. I definitely didn't feel like um, Were you nervous? I was nervous yeah. but I had I was like I was really prepared, prepared. Um, yeah of course oh, yeah. and so I you know and Brit is just so kind and and wonderful and she made me feel so comfortable yeah. and I don't know. It was more like I walked out of the room and I was like, that was really fun. Mm -hmm. Like, if nothing else, yeah. I got to meet Kay Cannon and right. I was such a fan of hers. And I was like, this was a good day, if nothing else. Yeah. 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 Was good. That's so, good you attitude. and Britt Robertson have excellent, speaking of chemistry, great chemistry in the show. So, Thank was it you. like that then, just from that very beginning, that first, and then you, it was. It seemed like there you've been best like, friends forever. We, I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was, it really was. I mean, we. I say like I had so much fun that day and and um, you know I don't tell myself like oh yeah this had to be special because you just don't know as an actor you right. walk out of the room and you're like someone else could have had the exact right. yep. same experience yeah. mm -hmm. um, but I was like man she was so cool and she was so nice and like when I when I got the part and when we started doing rehearsals together it was apparent it was like oh something just clicked yeah mm -hmm. it was really really cool makes you understand um, why they do chemistry reads well, it right. really mm -hmm. does it's a yeah. real thing it's a real thing i'm always like i can have chemistry with anyone you know <laughs> yeah. that's what you hope but I definitely um, had some chemistry reads where it's like oh no yeah. Yeah. no no <laughs> no no chemistry nope. yeah. was it ever overwhelming or i'm part of being a girl boss is like facing fears and stuff having that much material that you yes. were used to and before oh my god yeah it was i mean i think the the first table read was definitely overwhelming we did the first three episodes all at once oh, wow. and um everyone was there everyone Sophia was there Charlize Theron was there every you know it mm -hmm. was a huge that's room. intimidating yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> right so you're oh, sitting yeah. there and you're like okay <laughs> and I you know oh, you've God. gotten the there's scripts. Jador Dior right, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 oh my God um so it was really overwhelming but but yeah you know you you pull on your girl boss pants and you, <laughs> yeah, you, pull them up. you you get ready in the face of fear and and you do it. Um, so yeah, I just I feel I I remember like afterwards after the table read, I finally got home and I was just like, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Like I, it's just like everything drained, yeah. all the adrenaline drained out of me, but. I was happy it was there to be. And at with. that point, you mm -hmm. probably still are kind of like, I can't even believe I'm doing this. I still, still can't believe it Actually, I'm at the table <laughs> read. This is my part. Like, I'm playing this yeah. character. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's also terrifying because people get fired off of table reads. Oh, yeah. yeah. For all sure. the time. Yeah, yeah that wow. small thing to me is terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not even like the guarantee. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No. You know, yeah. so God, yeah. that's that really awful. intimidating. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and probably not even the first episode because you could they could still kind of scrap things after the first episode. Well, that happened with Shameless. We're on yeah. a shameless panel here at Outer oh, nice. really? And remember the character change for, um, for what's her face? Lip's first girlfriend. Uh, oh, um. Oh. Yeah, whatever her name is. We take a break from shameless and we forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, oh God, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. That would be insane. Oh, oh yeah, it's always in my head. I still am like, I know the show came out, but can they fire me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're, you're fired. Fire. 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 No. Just better to be prepared. <laughs> when you were first auditioning, did you have a choice to read between Sophia and Annie's parts, or was it only Sophia? Is that why you first it read was, for her? I, yeah, it was just sent to me, to okay. um, Sophia. I don't think I even had the full script. If I had had the full script, I probably would have been like, I'd love to read for this, per right. this part mm -hmm. as well. But um, I mean, the part of Sophia is also just like so cool and badass, you know. Right. Like mm -hmm. you want to feel like you're you're just 
that big of a rebel, nasty gal yeah. kind of lady. So that was fun to try on for a day. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is Brittany yeah. like that at all in person? Oh, um, it's hard to say. She's so she's so sweet and funny, but she's she's really sharp and and mm-hmm. she um she she stands up for herself, you know, when it's appropriate. And Good. she um I I think you know I, I don't think she's the kind of person who would like you know go go dumpster diving or right. stealing <laughs> or whatever you know oh my god that was amazing um, when she steals the carpet yeah and like yeah. literally just takes the it guys which is true oh, which sure. is really from her book it she, was she's dump, dump, dumpster dough for bagels and she yeah. stole rugs it's so crazy yeah i know yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did not eat a bagel out of a dumpster i just couldn't do I it know. it was okay Neither could I. They were. It was in but a it was bag. Right, but yeah. It was one of those day old situations. I mean, yeah. I'm not. No, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't have eaten it. You would do it in the Don't dumpster. Lie, do yeah, but I would have taken the bag. Okay. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. This kind of leads itself to the question: What is the nastiest thing each of you has ever done? Oh Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Can that we can, can well, we you think can say about whatever. that? I don't know. I don't um, know. One time. I was at oh, Griffith Observatory, <laughs> and I went. Well, he went to the bathroom, and I was leaning over to flush the toilet. My sunglasses fell in the toilet <laughs> at a public place. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> lots of people. You went real nasty. And I got them out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did and you I wear washed, them? I wore them. Oh, yeah. Ew! <laughs> I washed you them. got them out. They were expensive. So that <laughs> is not. I worth washed it. them thoroughly, and yeah. then I was like, "Should I?" It's not that nasty. Away? Nah. No. I mean that. Did you tell anybody when you came out in them, or did you just keep yeah, rocking them? Yeah, I told. Yes, <laughs> I was like, "Should I wear them? Do you think I'm gonna get like pink eye?" Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was okay. I was okay. That's, that's awesome. just what comes it's to mind. It's the least of your worries. You can get rid of pink eye. Yeah, um, true. <laughs> true. That's true. Like, yeah, get chlamydia from, from that. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking chlamydia for some reason, even though I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. chlamydia of the why eye. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's possible. It's got to be a thing. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's it. Uh, Anyone else? I, don't know. I can think of a nasty it. story. All right. Go I for didn't it. necessarily do anything, but. Uh, <laughs> you witness it? I had like this really bad earache, and I woke up with it, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, and it was like gross. a really intense ear infection, oh, and oh. I it couldn't hear anything, and it was like aching, and I was like, what's going on? And so I went to the doctor, <laughs> and they flushed out my ear, and a fly had <gasps> died in my earwax, oh, yeah. Yeah. and he was like, oh, you could tell he struggled. That's what he oh. said. He was like, oh, he was struggling when he died. Oh, poor fly. Yeah. And he was like, you want to see? And it was like oh. a fucking dinosaur fossil of <laughs> fly in the, and that was disgusting. But oh, God. I oh, told that's like one everyone. of my worst nightmares, Dude, something know. crawling in my yeah, ear. While you're sleeping. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, yeah, because you hear about spiders nasty. that lay eggs well, in there and all kinds of stuff. You saw that girl like, from The Voice. How the spider I did, bit her I face, did. The and her spider uh, face is deteriorating. Uh, Necrophile. Oh, I didn't know she was from The Voice. Dying. I saw that. Yeah. <gasps> her skin, it's nasty. Oh, Super oh, nasty. She's going to be okay? I, I, I <laughs> think so. I'm not a she's doctor. She's going to live. Um, <laughs> I think live. so. Yeah. Oh, I think God, she's going to be okay. She's going to live. Worst oh, nightmare. What about you, Ellie? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. You know, I I think like one of my nastier habits. Um, mm. I'm a big pimple popper. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. I will pop anyone's pimples. Oh, I mean, yeah. like yeah. if you had one right now on your back, I'm like, I just met you, and I'll go for it. <laughs> oh, um, God. it but I don't know. It doesn't feel nasty to me. It feels like weirdly satisfying. Um, yeah. And I don't think you're in the minority. I don't actually. think I am do, either. Do you watch no. those videos? Oh, no, yes. I can't. I, I oh, try. Oh. Do you watch them? Oh my god! Oh my god! I've yes. watched. Them. And it's funny because I don't pop my pimples at all because oh. they'll scar. I'm like, yeah, no, just leave them. Yeah, no, you still, I still do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, watching the girl like scrape that giant pus yeah. out of one of those with Ooh. the little oh tool thingy, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Kind of, I, I, I get grossed out, but I do find myself. I'm like, oh, where did three minutes go? I've just been watching this the whole time. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Yeah, it's addicting, but you it's, guys are braver nasty. than I. I know, oh, but no. I absolutely, I would have taken the sunglasses out of the toilet. I don't know. I, I, I end too. up taking my shoes off a lot of places and walking around barefoot. I just don't, mm. you know. Do that too. No. no, later <laughs> game. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh. oh. So, oh. Later later the barefoot game. game. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> That right. was the game. He won. That's it. I won. JJ, I think <laughs> you asked, so you should probably share. 
Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about I really you? do have one, and it's nasty, and you might think differently Ew. of me later. Let's do okay. it. Okay. It's, it's terrible. Okay. So I had an ACL surgery in high school, and um, so my, bra I was, my knee, leg was in a brace from hip to hip. So my girlfriends came over trying to brighten my spirits because I couldn't play basketball, and I was all bummed out and stuff. So there was a, there were, let me make a story, story short. Um, these guys that we were dating were having a birthday party at this hotel <laughs> nearby, and they had this classic thing where they liked to go to McDonald's and they'd go through the drive through and they called it shit burger. They'd go through the drive through and they would order a hamburger, they'd go inside, take the hamburger out. <gasps> no. Oh my God. What? On it. What? Yes. I told you it was terrible. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You knew people who did that. And wait, yes, what did they did do well, with that? Well, the story there's yet. more to the story, yeah. <laughs> so they would turn it back into the McDonald's workers and be like, hey guys, this burger is not done. And the, you know, so the employees would get a shit burger. Oh no. So to cheer me up, my girlfriends are like, we're going to Brad's birthday party and we're going to give him a shit burger. I'm like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> okay. So I was just supposed to get a watch, right? Because I'm the one in the knee brace. So we go to McDonald's. Get order a burger, go into the bathroom. We're sitting in the stall. My best friend Sarah uh, goes into the, the toilet. Called She's out. like, "Oh, I can't shit. I can't shit." <laughs> no, oh, no, I nobody can't would. Even do. with this, yeah, I can't I even. It's terrible. I don't know why I asked this dumb question. Oh my. So God. yeah. So finally, nobody would do it, and I was like, "Just give me the fucking burger." So I went in the back. I had my leg out, my knee brace. I was holding myself up with the handicap bars, and my friend had to slide the bun under. And my friend was there. <laughs> just in. Oh, we were all in the bathroom. All Oh. I gotta be honest, the most impressing part of this entire story is that you were able to shit on command. Yeah. I can only shit yeah. like three times a week. I probably had to break go because my knee was in a knee brace. I was probably saving it up. Yeah. <laughs> so you took yeah. one for anyway, the team. Anyway, I took one for the team, and the whole point one was nobody, we were supposed to, we had a girl pack. Nobody was supposed to tell anybody. Sure enough, we go back <laughs> to school. Back. I walk through the halls of high school, everybody starts calling me shit burger. I mean, yeah, you, like, oh, wow. No. Worst thing is, I think it's gonna get buried in high school. Go to college, I played basketball in college ends up being a guy on the football team who went to high school with me oh, <laughs> oh my god so i'm walking wow. through the university of nebraska's training table all of a sudden all these football players as i walk by hey shit burger oh my god mortified that's my nasty and now you've story just, and now you've all just your co-workers <laughs> to do yeah. the same thing <laughs> yeah, Jeannie, literally all of your fans are gonna call you shit yeah burger. everyone online I'm, now I'm knows this story now, wait so. did he eat it no, okay. the, I, we don't know. We dropped right. it. Right. Right. Otherwise, somebody would have had to call him shit mouth <laughs> yeah, or yeah. something. Like, that wouldn't shit have been fair yeah. if he didn't get what it. He would have gotten a disease. Yeah, a <laughs> disease. Yeah, that, a disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd okay, be dead. Turn. Enough. Enough. <laughs> oh, I don't have really too much after that one. I was yeah. Yeah, no, like can't. an angel. Please don't get nastier than that. <laughs> no, I accidentally shit my pants in L.A. traffic last year. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, and I held it for a good 45 minutes. Oh, my God. And then it, it hurt so bad that I just couldn't, I couldn't oh do anything about it. God. And I literally was in traffic. So you guys can all appreciate this. I was literally in traffic so bad, I had nowhere to pull off. I mean, no. I, because I would have. Went, you would have, like, yeah. I don't know, even in someone's, like, bush, like, right. whatever. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, How yeah. long till you got oh, home man. and you just had to sit in it? I was on my way to my friend's house. I was going to ask, <laughs> where were no. you going? Yeah, and so I t turned right around and went home and had to clean myself. Did you have to? But then I went back to my friend's house, and the best part was they were like, you should have come over and we'll, like take care of it here. Which was oh. nice at the time, what and when friends? I think about it now, I'm like, I'm no. just like, no, I'm not no. coming to your house with my pants no. filled with shit. I no. mean, that's nice Because if them? you showed yeah. up, like, they say it after the fact, right, but if right. you had showed up with the actual no, situation, yeah, right. then you're yeah. like, what are you doing here? Go away. This is For sure. Yeah, <laughs> well, because I was texting them in traffic, like, guys, I have it's to bad. poop so bad, like, this is not good. And so when I finally didn't show up, like, when they thought I was going to, they were like, you what happened? shit your pants. I really did. Oh, wow. Okay, Ooh. now that we got that Ooh, out of the yeah. way, let's get Great. back to the Ooh. show. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about uh, shooting. Was the schedule like? Yeah, we started. Uh, we started mid, like mid to late June, and then went all the way through October, um, and. Mostly, we were shooting um, in LA, which was great, and then spent a couple weeks in San Francisco, which mm -hmm. was even greater. And yeah, it was good. You did yeah. tell me before we started mm -hmm. taping that the the bar that you guys are in a lot is actually a real bar. It is. It's the Shortstop yeah. in yeah. Silver Lake. So oh, we all. Cool. I mean, we I feel like there. I never saw you anywhere but the Shortstop. Probably we because we didn't see each other because uh, we did the Shortstop and then we did Sunset Sound. Oh yeah, for the and I was the recording. Yeah. 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 yeah, but yeah, that's right. The New Year's party and the first the pilot that was mm -hmm. at the Shortstop. Yeah, the Shortstop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were there first week of filming. 
right? Yep. And then last the last week, oh, week or two weeks. Last week. <laughs> yeah. Was filming. everyone like a lot nicer at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning? <laughs> you know what? You The pressure, you could feel the pressure a lot more at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Like people didn't know because it was the pilot. Yeah. And people just didn't know, I think. Like it by the end of it, it was so well oiled. Like yeah, everyone right. knew each other. Everyone, you know. Yeah, that's so true. So it was interesting coming in at the beginning and then at the very end to just feel the vibe out. Like it was crazy. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure. And is it yeah. something you're taping every day when you're? In yeah, the- five five days a week, okay. Monday through okay. Friday mostly, and then I think um, San Francisco they they did weekends okay. as well, um, just because time time mm-hmm. time time. time. Um, yeah, and it's I mean. They're long. They're long days. They're long, very fun days. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. How did you keep your did energy up like that whole time? I was just like on a high the entire time. Yeah, I was just yeah. like uh, an adrenaline spike for you months. know four months. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. I would wake up at like five in the morning for my call and be like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Was right there now. a favorite moment you had filming? Like one that you still remember? Ooh. Um, I mean, in terms of in terms of like favorite moments on set, I think filming um, the last episode with the party um, uh, the, to launch Nasty Gal was one of my favorites, just because all the guest stars were also there. So you know, I got to be sitting there with um, with RuPaul and Norm Macdonald right. and Cola Scola, and it was just like so. It was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Ru led us in a game of dirty charades, um, <laughs> which he was incredible at. Yeah. <laughs> As one could imagine. So that's that's a moment I'm like, ooh, I'm not going to forget that. That was fun. What was the sample from that game? Just so oh, like, man, I don't know that I remember. It's basically just like... You know, you, you, same as, you know, you do a movie or a book or whatever, um, and... Instead, you know, it's, it's a it's a, pu- uh. it's a pun, you know, whatever, whatever pun he came up with, um, you know, like... I don't know. I, I can't think of anything super interesting. Like, instead of after Buzz TV, it would be like after Butt TV or something, you know? <laughs> and so usually he would lead you to get the actual name of the movie or the TV show or book, and then he'd lead you to figure out the pun, which it, it was just so fun. It was such a fun game. Um, That's awesome. It really helped pass the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little about, you guys were talking about your acid scene. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, Dax and Annie go on an acid trip an unplanned acid trip <laughs> right on an, a- on an um, accident yeah and yeah you were as i did i did not take acid i have <laughs> never um so i asked various anonymous friends uh <laughs> what what it's what it's like and what you feel like on it and what if they've seen other people on it what they look like um right and um yeah someone actually like texted me was like did you take it i was like no <laughs> um but they they talked a lot about apparently you know like things just moving a little more slowly and um you're very convinced that whatever is happening is definitely happening. happening there's no like um Apparently, there's there's no like oh you know I, I can remove myself from this situation. You are fully in it. Yeah, um, which is all the reasons I was like no thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it felt like at least watching the show that the trip lasted a long time. Mm-hmm. I mean I think the idea is that it lasts basically the entire weekend. You know they get home wow. from that concert on Friday night or something like that, mm-hmm. and then. The whole rest of the time they're on this trip while Sophia and Shane are going through a roller coaster themselves. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I think I think that's I think the idea. That's the part that's and a that's killer. also sounds terrifying. Right. To me. If yeah. you knew it lasted only two hours, sure. Yeah. You might, yeah. Maybe. Try it for research. Right. But, but <laughs> yeah. a, whole, a whole day, no. a whole day. I don't research. know how long it's going to take. No. Like, <laughs> right. what if it never? Right. Yeah. What if yeah. it never, yeah. never yeah. stops? That's so scary. That's well, you hear all yeah. those stories. Yeah. Though, like no one, they're never oh. the same. Like they got their like their brains are different after yeah. acid. Like. I don't know. It seems scary. Something yeah. happens. Yeah. Guys. No thanks. We're all gonna be addicted to acid. Like next <laughs> yeah, time. I know. We're gonna be like, oh, oh, I did it. Try it. Gonna... We talked about it so much. We thought we'd go for it. <laughs> now, were you guys? Were you singing any of your music in the? Uh, no, no, we weren't. Were you, like were you we came in and they already had the songs. Yeah. For us. Who yeah. wrote the songs? But, do you know? Um, yeah, there. It's this band. Oh, they they wrote they for, write a lot for Netflix. Yeah, oh, cool. They cool. wrote for Side Boob and Orange Is the New Black. Okay. That nice band yeah. that Caputo is in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. 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 So <laughs> I, it seems like they mostly write for TV stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's like a very specific format. 
you know. Yeah. Is it different. your voices like on the song that's in her no, ear all the time? No, no, no it's not at all. No, no. Not at all. I know, yeah. yeah, but they already had it before we got it. in. I know. But yeah. you know, we're coming out with an album now. So yeah. It's yeah. Great, yeah, tell about that. Tell us yeah, about that. So yeah, so we're coming out with an album. We yeah. just released the single last week. Ooh, congrats. Um, What's it called? Thanks. It's called Ghost Town. Okay. Yeah. And um the full album will be released this summer, but then we have a music video that's coming out. Yeah. Um that's gonna be awesome. Called Supernatural. Called Supernatural. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, a lot of thematically, like a lot of what this album is about is confronting ghosts from your past and how they're kind of a part of you and both a good bad way and Mm -hmm. no matter no matter what you do you can't escape your past but Mm -hmm. not necessarily in a bad way but learning to live with that yeah interesting i think this album is just like really raw and haunting is the best way and creepy in some parts Mm -hmm. so it's gonna be yeah super exciting yeah the music video is actually really creepy. yeah you guys it's like (laughs) it's yeah it's creepy we filmed it at um so next door to the american horror story house is a house by the same architect yeah, and he lived in this American one. Horror Story oh, season wow, I one. Lived there. Did mm-hmm. you guys? Yeah, mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Such a cool old creepy house. Yeah, That's and Beyonce like... and Solange had their Grammy party there the weekend before we shot it. Yeah, Damn, so, so we're close. like, I know, yeah. so close. So close. Yeah. There were still balloons left yeah. over, yeah. so I just like rubbed them off. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, Try to yeah. get some of yeah. the energy. Some of that. Yeah. 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 So so that should be cool. But uh, yeah. Yeah, look out in the next few weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Music.com. Yeah, we'll have to post it on our social media yeah, as well. yeah for sure where have you guys kind of found your inspirations from or go- has your style grown over the years uh yeah like a lot yeah mm-hmm. um yeah basically a lot of like uh nina simone billy holiday that kind of mm-hmm. stuff regina specter feist yeah. um sia yeah yeah yeah. Love everyone. Kim all those, all those are yeah. yeah, all those are yeah. We Star really love ones. lyrics, like yeah, really very lyrical melody. So. Yeah, but you can do from all a the harmonies. Family. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was kind of just born. In yeah, you. we've been playing and born. singing forever, mm-hmm. and then. You came out with a guitar. Yeah. 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 It, we came out with a guitar. It yeah. was a cheap one. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, and we've been, like, doing harmonies together forever. Yeah. We've, like, been writing, like, really embarrassing. We wrote, like, really embarrassing pop songs yeah. when we wanted to be the Spice Girls in fifth grade. Yeah. You know. As everyone wanted. Yeah. We, like, exactly. made our friends I mean, come so over. did I. Right? Yes. Yes. Going yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that happened. But we've been writing forever and, like, Basically, yeah. like, I write most of the lyrics, so I started writing, I mean, since forever. And yeah. But we're forever. really happy with this latest album, because uh, we really stood up for what we wanted and what we believed in, how we wanted it to sound, okay. which was difficult at Yeah. Times, you know, in the music right. industry, there's a lot of mansplaining oh, yeah. of, you know, uh, just like, oh, you're just like a little singer-songwriter girl, and so, like, I know what's best, and I know what's going to sound mm. best and whatever and so this album we were just kind of like this is what's happening this is what's yeah. happening and like you, you don't I get to tell me that I don't know uh, you know I mean just there's a lot of that in the music mm-hmm. industry yeah so we just kind of took this one into our own hands yeah rather than the ones before I feel like had a lot of other influence in it mm-hmm. and th- and they were great in that way yeah but you know we just want to own it this mm-hmm. time yeah in Sophia's book and also in the movie, they touch on a lot about the the how difficult it is when society's telling people, oh, you need to go to school, you need yep. to go to college, that's the plan. So how right. has it been for you? And, and I love the moment with Dean Norton when he's, he's yeah. I, I had Norris. it written down. Oh, Norris. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Norris, thank you. Yeah. Um, he said, maybe you gave up on yourself, maybe I did too. You yeah. know, did you guys ever have any moments like that in your career or where, you know, people were trying to push you to maybe not go with the artistic stuff, probably not since your family is all. Oh, no. yeah. Like, are yeah. you kidding me? Okay, yeah, yeah. let's hear it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, That's it's... like a parent's worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, because like... our parents are, uh, I mean, our, our dad's musician, and but uh, he... everyone in the family is a musician by hobby. Yeah. Like, right. Not mm-hmm. by, you know, so because that's not even, yeah, you know, and, and he's scientists. an immigrant, too, so yeah. it's like he came here, and he, like, set up his business, and he did his thing, but it was never a good mm-hmm. plan to go into the entertainment industry. yeah. And, it's, like, yeah. only until recently, uh, people Very in our family have been, like, on board with it. Mm-hmm. I mean, wow. everyone's like, oh, are you still still trying that? Still trying mm-hmm. to do that? Mm-hmm. 
That's always um, a fun question. I know. Yeah, yeah. it's always From fun. People. Like, are, you oh, still, are you still are you still acting? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like theater. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. how great is it now that you're like, yes, I am. I know. Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 See it. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you get yourself totally. through those moments where maybe you do have self doubt? Maybe things weren't going as well. We are like, oh God, maybe we should give this up, or I should, you know, how do you how do you I push th through? I think, um, you know. For me, I mean, before I moved to Los Angeles, I was thinking about applying to graduate school. I was yeah. thinking about like, you know what, this is just, it's too hard, it's too, um, it's too much work yeah. and for too little reward and, and it is, it's terrifying. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, weirdly, like for me, finding, um, finding any sort of artistic endeavor that I could throw myself into would feel really good, um, you know, before, I, I write as well, um, mm -hmm. and I had never, you know, acting has always been like the primary focus. And for a few years before moving to LA, I started writing a lot more, and that made me feel like, you know, even though it's hard, I, I feel worthy. I feel like yeah. I'm doing something worthwhile with my day. I feel like right. I am producing something that I'm proud of, um, and and it all it all ends up, you know, coming back to reward you. I mean, mm -hmm. I I signed with my agent because of my play that I wrote. You know, you never you never yeah. know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's um, amazing. And I think, I also think, you know, people will tell actors and probably musicians, I'm assuming, like, if you can do anything else, go do it. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And That so bothers it, me. It bothers mm -hmm. me, too, because yeah. I'm like, I could do some stuff. I know. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, I don't know if it's, I think can is maybe the wrong word. I think yeah. if, if you feel you know, if you really want to, if you really feel the desire and the pull to do Boom. something yeah. else, then then you should. Right. Um, but if all you can feel is this pulling you Excuse to... Me. God damn it. No. <laughs> <laughs> right at that moment. Oh, God. <laughs> I, you were so into it too. I'm so oh, no, sorry. That's, it, honestly, it was helpful because I was wrapping up. It's just, <laughs> just like if you feel the, if all you feel is the pull to do what you're doing, then you keep going with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think yeah. you're so right about like putting yourself into other things, yeah. and that's partly why like music has helped so much with us. And we um, same like we developed a show um, about sexual assault. Oh. And it's based on like any anything from like the, the sexual intrusion, yeah. the spectrum of it. So anything from catcalling to rape. We interviewed over two hundred people. We oh, created wow. this show, and then we edited it down with Shaheen Voss, our amazing yeah. director. To we edited it down to um, college, the college experience, mm -hmm. oh, and then wow. we toured college campuses with it. It's like yeah. a three person show, and that really made me feel like. I'm not just like going out to auditions and then being like, what am I doing? Do like, do? Yeah. how am I contributing or like, making art? Yeah. You know? yeah. Right. And, and I think also, interestingly, you know, we both went to college for theater and acting and then came out here and kept pursuing that. And at the same time, we're just doing music. And the great thing about music is like, you can write a song. You can do that. You can throw yourself into that. You can record. Well, we were able to like record things. And that felt really good to do. And then this role came up, which was like an indie twin band. <laughs> and it's like, perfect. We've been performing for the past, like this whole time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we are real, right. this is real, this isn't, yeah. you know? And like, that was a great like moment yeah, of connection. Yeah, we were like, what is this role? If we don't get this role, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, are we? Yeah. 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 Are, yeah. This is us, you know? And I noticed you're Stephanie and Stacy, right? So yeah. they kept it like Michelle Melissa yeah. Stacey. Yeah, they kept it the thing, they kept it the thing. Yeah, so, and, and yeah, that worked And we worked also, out. like weirdly enough, like actually Michelle kind of took a step back from acting for a little bit, and I was pursuing it like all the way. And then, like, right when she signed with my manager, we booked the lead in a James Franco movie yeah. and filmed it. Like, like I was right like, after see? the pilot of Girl Boss, we went to Ohio to yeah. film that. Yeah, and then awesome. and we were like, see, like, you know, you just have to keep mm -hmm. going, like, keep being yeah. creative. And, and yeah, doing your other things. Like, yourself. writing is great. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. Yeah, whatever mm -hmm. you can do to, you know, distract yourself and keep yourself right. moving forward. Well, yes. you really don't know what opportunity is going to bring no, the actual no opportunity that you, yeah. know, you were meant to, yeah. to, yeah. to don't do. Know. And then when it comes, it's like so right for you. Right. When you know you wished all the other things, yeah. you're like, well, yep. that was right for me. Well, that was well, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. The right yeah. thing will yeah. come along. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like right. your role. Queen. I know. It does. It comes along. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> How has uh, your life changed now after having this this big role? I, I did hear you say earlier, you know, your phone's kind of off the hook. My phone is a little off the hook, I yeah. know. <laughs> Do the kids even know what that means? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's um, no hook now. Uh-huh. So. Um, that's, that's true. I know, but we still say it. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's so weird. I'm like, how has my life changed in three days? Yeah. Um, for real, but I it's mean, true. Yes. I, I have a lot more. I have some more followers on social media, which is really <laughs> cool. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I, you know, people have been reaching out who I haven't talked to in a really long time, and that's really nice. And and it's also very cool to just like hear people's thoughts on the show. And mm-hmm. and um, I don't know. I think I think the social media thing, just because it's such an immediate uh, reaction, is well, the right thing that on. I've been. I've been dealing with this weekend. I mean, dealing with. I'm thrilled. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Um, but I did. I remember. I was like, I was driving yesterday, and I saw I saw something like a funny sign or something like that, and I was like, oh, this would be good for Instagram. And then I was like, no, no, you've more. You've you've to put out really good content. <laughs> like, well, you do have good comment. Like I like your comments. Oh, thank like you. you have that. I can see you actually playing the other role as well, Sophia, because you have a little bit of a snarky like a bit. humor in there that I like. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm probably snarkier than Brit, actually. <laughs> That's funny. But I yeah. couldn't see you now after watching the show. No, like you were no. just. I wouldn't. Annie I don't think I would want. I wouldn't want to um, do what she does. I have does. a question. <laughs> Has anybody like recognized you in public yet? No. Okay. I'm ready for it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fading out now. Right? Everybody yeah. come here. Everybody? She's going to walk out the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make her feel Uh-oh. so nice. Like, oh my God. <laughs> That's really funny. Awesome. Um, well, I think it. Oh, go ahead. No, that's it. I I hope I I hoped for it to happen, and I don't hope for it to happen because yeah, I'm yeah. almost certain so I will weird. be. Has as have people recognized you guys from anything? Do you get like, no, oh, like our, our stuff hasn't come? Out. Yeah, our chance for right. the movie hasn't okay. come out. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. When does that come out? You know? Question. Okay. Great. We'll let you know <laughs> as soon as James? we know. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Paul. Yeah, I'll write out James if you're watching. Um, yeah. 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 Hopefully soon. Hopefully yeah. soon. Well, I read a lot of articles um, online, which I do totally agree with, saying that your part and without Annie, um, the show would be a little bit... Not lackluster, but like you have a part where you do add so much Thank you. with the comedy and with I mean your your scenes are they are hysterical. <laughs> and it is those little one liners here and there that are just like Yeah. You know, I they think... they do add a lot. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. I I I'm I'm so glad to hear people noticing that. You know, I, I just sort of felt like very lucky filming it because, you know, Brit has a a lot of Ha- would have a lot of days on set where she had to do some really hard emotional work, and I was like, sure. "Here I am. <laughs> Let's make some jokes, friends." <laughs> and, uh, so that might also be. I was just like so excited to be there, and even you know when you have uh, some more serious moments, I think um, if you get to if you're you know, status quo is a little bit happier and a little bit more up. It's it's a nice change rather than um, something that feels like overwhelming. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what is your comedy background? Are you from what is a my comedy certain, background? like Second City or because you're from Chicago? I'm yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. Yes, and I um I did I did a fair amount of improv out there. I took classes at um, I O and I did the Second City Conservatory and their awesome. house teams over there. And I did um. Uh, mostly, that's a lot of studying mm-hmm. for those yeah. who don't, you know, don't know about mm-hmm. the it's, improv background. It's a that's a pretty grueling process, especially if you, you know, what you did graduate from those programs. Right, mm-hmm. exactly. That's a lot. And yeah, I mean, it's a, it was many many years. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's funny because I mean, there are so many people who are who pursue it and who do that stuff. So it 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 feels weird to me to be like, oh, this is what I've done. When right. like mm. you you can do it yeah, too. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But but it, you should do it. It is so. Oh, I think so everybody and such a good community. Yeah, even if you are a engineer, should take an improv class. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. Oh, yeah, just our brother who's a experience. doctor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did, yeah. I mean, it just, just helps shit. you get out of your yeah. personal box. Like, I mean, we all just shared stories about shit and all right. that. So <laughs> I never really thought I had any problems, like <laughs> right? you know, letting go yeah. or whatever. But I was just telling JJ I'm starting level two of oh, good. Oh, next yeah. week, and it's hard. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I mean, it's like. It's an art form. Yeah, it is it totally is. an art form. And and but it's so helpful in every other aspect yeah. of your life. I think um, you know, feeling confident enough to just speak off the cuff is yeah. something that it would yeah, it must be helpful in every job. And yeah. it makes yeah. you be present, you know, because you have mm-hmm. to you, you have to respond right away. Like without right. processing and thinking about it or going back and learning your lines. Yeah. So yeah, right. good listener. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, for sure. Well, I think our time is starting to get play a They're playing a game. Okay. We're playing right. a game. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh. So we're going to play a game called Nasty versus Not Nasty. Ooh. So oh. we're going to say something, and then you guys say whether you think it is nasty or not nasty. Okay. Okay, okay shit burger. <laughs> <laughs> nasty or not nasty? Nasty. 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 All right. Um, mayonnaise. Not nasty, nasty or not no, nasty. Not, nasty. not nasty. Delicious. Yeah, yeah. delicious. Okay. I, have a lot, I have a friend that's like scared of mayonnaise. I'm not a big, I would yeah, say Yeah, my nasty. mom hates it. Yeah. Not yeah. into it. I love it. You love said it. nasty? I say nasty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not nasty. Okay, the word moist. Not that nasty. Not, I don't care. Not nasty. Yeah, not nasty. It doesn't bother you? me. You? Like there's moist cake. Not nasty. Right? Yeah, Ooh, cake. Yeah, moist. Yeah. 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 I, I don't like yeah. the word damp more than I don't like hmm. the word moist. It's just an odd word. I don't like the word crotch. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not that's a, that one's not my favorite. No, yeah. No. Cunts, are you okay with? Yeah, yeah. Cunt's okay. good. Yeah, cunt's great. <laughs> I was gonna say I that's like great. that a lot more than pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, threesomes, nasty or not nasty? Like the actual thing? Yeah, yeah. like to have a threesome. Or like if I were to do it? Yes. Uh, no, nasty. Nasty. I would Na- not. Yeah, nasty. yeah. It's not. It's 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 not my personal preference, but I'm hesitant to say nasty because you know, do do your thing. Yeah, it's do all your consensual. Thing. Yeah. Not that nasty. Yeah. Yeah. All I right. would not. No. Peeing in the shower. No, everybody does that. So it's not nasty. Uh, <laughs> uh, I say nasty. I <gasps> what? I never pee nasty. in the shower? No. Let no. loose. Wow. Let loose. No. <laughs> I literally only pee in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> and shit in your car. Yeah. <laughs> I am so hot. Okay. Um, what do you say? Uh, not nasty. Hmm. Do you I guys mean, share a shower? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. Um, okay, not washing your hands after going to the bathroom. Yeah, you should. It's pretty. That's kind of nasty. You should. You should yeah. Most of the time, you nasty. Should, yeah. What's the non most of the time? When, I mean, when are you allowed to not wash your hands? Well, after one time, I like recently, I was in a public Uh-oh. bathroom, <laughs> and I went to the sink, but a heroin addict was using it. So I did not wash yeah. my hands. <laughs> so See, that's going to be the time that I don't wash yeah. my hands. I think that's, if, if like the sink is grosser yes. than, well, than the toilet, I'm you're like, like, let's just find a hand sanitizer <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah. If I'm yes. going to like a football game or something, me washing my hands is doing nothing right when yeah. I walk nope. out of the bathroom. So it's not worth the wait for the no, sink. Yeah, yeah absolutely that's not. true. Yeah. Agreed. Depends where you are. All right. <laughs> Farting or taking a shit in front of your boyfriend? Farting's not nasty. I don't feel the need to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I think that's I agree nasty. with that. Yeah. yeah. Feel the need not to do the that. farting's not nasty though. No. 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 Yeah, you got. I mean, yeah. they do it. They do it all the yeah. time. They definitely <laughs> do it. It's not. That's not gonna do that double standard. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Well, I've done both. So wait. Well. <laughs> um, being barefoot at the bar when your feet hurt. That's why we not say. nasty yeah. at no. all, friends. <laughs> Not nasty. Yeah. I took off my shoes at the premiere Me party. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I took them off too. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. It's too right, long. I'm stealing one. Go for it. Um, dating a coworker. Um, uh, I don't think that's that nasty. No, I don't as long think as so. Depends Not where nasty. it is. Yeah. Here I dated someone here. Oh my god, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> After Buzz exclusive. Uh, <laughs> we so, hope you're listening. And it wasn't Bo. nasty. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. fine. People don't <laughs> have to, yeah, deal yeah. with uh, if you break up. Deal with it, yeah. Right. Then, then it's yeah. But it's not nasty because no. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely not. Yeah. yeah. So definitely not. Uh, you got one more? We done. Um, yeah, the Brandy Alexander. Nasty or not nasty? Well, the actual had drink. It. Yeah, what actually, actually had one actually either? Drink it. No, right. I don't know what it was. It was like water and milk or some sort oh, of weird. That's nasty. nasty. That's nasty. Whatever that's they nasty. made to pretend to be a brand. Yeah, Alexander was nasty. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I like nutmeg though, so I feel like I'd try it. Yeah, I would <laughs> yeah. try it. Nutmeg. I'm not, yeah. I'm not against like like dairy and alcohol. I yeah, mean, I can, that could you be like good. Kahlua. 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 Like Kahlua. 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 I wouldn't like order that, you know. But I'd have a sip. But oh, yeah, I wouldn't God, smash it on one? the ground. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In what's that one drink that uh, alcohol that looks like milk? White Russians. Oh, right. that's, that's alcohol. Those that's are good. Well, there's though. A, the actual alcohol, and my friend would kill me for forgetting his name because of no, it comes in a white bottle. Um, I think it starts uh, with a C. Is it like oh, a I rum thing? I forget what it is, but you mix it with like cinnamon, like Fireball or something to make like a cinnamon toast crunch. Whoa! Oh, oh you know shot. way more about that. I've never I don't heard went that. to a party I school don't. for college. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll, no, I'll think about. It. Forgot. Let's find out. <laughs> I'll let you know later when I remember. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I think we've reached that time. We'll now do our Tom Girls of the Week. Yeah. Cool. 
Okay, I think he's going to put a little picture up here for us. All right, the first one, you do the second one. All right, so this is Becca Longo. She is the 18-year-old who became the first female to receive a football scholarship to a Division II school or higher. That's Yay! Awesome. Hey, girl. Oh, cool. Yeah, she, she had her signing ceremony last week. She's from Chandler, Arizona. And I like the quote from her, Coach Todd. He said, you know, the other players embraced her as one of the players, not as a girl or as an outsider. So That's look awesome. at her That's breaking awesome. barriers. And she... I think a lot of people, if they read this and didn't see her picture, would immediately assume she was like some, like yeah. super super muscular like girl. And she's, I mean, she's wearing a dress, and she's Beautiful. clearly is, you can you know still be absolutely feminine and play football. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very cool, very very cool. cool. Um, and then we have Catherine Switzer. Her picture will show up in a second. There she is. Uh, she ran oh, the yeah. Boston Marathon in 1967 under the name KV Switzer. Um, were women not allowed to and run? That is correct. She yeah. was attacked. Not, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh they, my God. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And actually, Will uh, Clooney, I think, is how you pronounce his last name. He was the Boston Athletic Association director, and he said women can't run in the marathon because the rules forbid it. Unless we have the rules, society will be in chaos. Well, that, that, well, that anyway, makes sense. Gets more and then he said it gets better. If that girl were my daughter, I would spank her. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Sure. Thank you. Well, I'm Sarah. glad he explained it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cool. Yeah. Now and she, it, and so she just ran do. this year's mm -hmm. marathon. Um, and she ran her fastest marathon time in wow. 46 years. Which oh is my cool. God! Good yeah. for her. Good for yeah. her. Yeah. Fuck that wow. guy. Yeah, that yeah fuck so that guy. Yeah. That guy is nasty. Yeah. Not yeah. into him. Yeah. <laughs> that guy yeah. is nasty. Yep. Nasty from all of us. We say. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, so that's starting to wrap it up. Um, next week, we're going to talk about our workout of the week. We're going to do Pilates Plus and report back on how Love that Pilates. is for us. Um, we also want to do a quick thing, since we hope you guys are with us all summer for this Tom Girl show. So we wanted to set some goals, and you guys are to join us as well, okay. to do something by September 1st that scares us. Mm. We want to dare to do something different. Um, you know what you're going to do? Not really. I said earlier I threw out there that I would try stand up, and then I immediately regretted that. Oh I said no! <laughs> and I love it because I said we can scary. all come watch yeah. you scary, and support yeah. you. And well, I think it's a scary scarier because water. oh, that's okay. Because I I feel like I'd have to take the class. I have like zero idea how to even start. Yeah. Like, where to mm -hmm. start with stand up? So that's I think the scariest part. Because I've definitely said some things in public that have gotten zero reactions. So I know. How oh yeah. That Wait. Feels. Do you know the class? It's like women are funny like did, have you oh the ground no. links class I, I had a friend take that class and at the end of the class they all perform at flappers like as a okay. class and it's like for women and she teaches you oh, a the stand girls can good. be funny yeah. girls can be funny girls, you should yeah. check it out okay yeah yeah cool. like Thank I've been to a few it. shows because a few friends have done it so, yeah there so you I might go. have to stick with it now yeah. that I said it <laughs> Anything you guys want to, you don't have to do it by September 1st, but what would you do if there's something you haven't accomplished yet or want to try or that scares you? Oh, uh, we, we, we have a script that we want to start writing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so check back in September 1st. Yeah. All yeah. righty. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I don't, I don't know. I, man, I mean, I would love, I would love to, um, to do, to do some more improv. I haven't done any really in LA except like mm. one show and okay. and and my god is it a muscle you have to exercise. Right. Like yeah. mm -hmm. I came off stage after the uh, after that show and I was like, oh, okay." <laughs> it was like trying to run after never having run in 4 years right. or something. Yeah. Um so that sounds it sounds scary to me, but it was so fun. I would like to hmm. do it again. You yeah. should. All right. Well, everybody's going to do it. Well, what are you wait, doing? Wait, you didn't answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, way to back uh, out of I'm, that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's scared I of actually, shit burger story. Yeah. 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 I've already wrong. exposed <laughs> way too much on this episode. Uh, I would actually like to take some surf lessons. Cool. Ooh, I've lived here for so long fun. now and yeah. haven't. Have, it's the one thing I wanted to do and haven't. So. Well, that we can definitely it. make happen. Yeah. 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 Easily. Yeah. Awesome. There's some good group ponds out there for yes. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a day too easy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for yeah. coming on the show. Thank you for yeah. having us. This yeah. is so thank fun. I can't wait to see where you guys' careers go from here and all thank the you. attention and success you're going to get after this show. Yeah, so it'll be so. fun. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks. All right, and for you, everybody listening out there, we hope you enjoyed the first episode. We hope to bring a lot more amazing women like this in here for you. You can hear their stories and, and watch us all summer long. Um, for the first 20 people that follow us, Tom Girl TV at Twitter, uh, this week you're gonna you get put in your name's put in a hat to win a two tickets to Stagecoach. Woo! So if you, oh, yeah. shit, we better so. follow them. <laughs> <laughs> Sign yeah. up now. We can be the first three. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, so that wraps us up today. One more time working. 
can everybody follow you at? I'm at ES Reed on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Macedo Music and Michelle Macedo M on Twitter and Instagram. At Melissa Macedo M. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, you can find me at Haley Clover on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me at JJ Jurgens. You can also follow us at Tom Girl TV on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Woo. Perfect. Woohoo. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. Executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. <laughs> views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.